can the graph CM702 and by extension the CM800 grind fine enough for espresso? In short, yes they can. In this video we're going to do a short review of this grinder as well as show a hack of how to grind a bit finer. All right, let's talk about the pros and cons of this Graf CM702 grinder. First of all, as a pro, it is quite small. It will fill on, fit on your countertop very well. You see here is the footprint here. It does include, in addition, this extra dish here to catch the grounds, which keeps things a little bit neater. And as you see here, it is not too tall. It does fit underneath the countertop. It is made by a German company and I quite like the design of the grinder just from an optical standpoint. Haptically it includes an easy way to adjust just by moving the collar here. You have between 1 and 25 grind settings to choose from. And this grinder does come with an extra very thin washer to put underneath the burr in order to be able to grind finer. More on that in a minute. Another positive aspect of this grinder is the fact that it is very economical. You can get this for under 100 euros. As far as disadvantages of this grinder go, it is very, very light. So when you are pushing the portafilter up against here, you will easily push the machine. For that reason, you will need two hands to operate. Okay, a second disadvantage of this grinder is sometimes it does get a little bit jammed and you have to jiggle it in order for it to start grinding again. But that doesn't happen too often. The last thing to mention about this grinder is that it's going to have a decent amount of ground retentions as well, uh, stuck basically from in between the burrs down through the bottom of the chute. But again, this is an economical grinder. It can grind fine enough for espresso. It certainly has a lot of positive characteristics for the price point it's offered at. Okay, and now on to the hack. Make sure that your unit is unplugged. Go ahead and remove the ground sketcher. Then we want to remove the bean canister. Then we will turn the unit around. And here you see on the collar, we have got an unlock button. So let's turn this collar counterclockwise all the way until that reaches its end position. Then we can remove the burr. Simply move this handle up and pull straight out. All right, the next step is while the collar is turned all the way into its unlock position, you can just lift it off. And now we have to remove the lower burr. In order to remove the lower burr, we now need to remove this nut. And in order to remove the nut, it needs to be turned clockwise. So take a 10 millimeter socket. You can hold this little tab here with another socket or something else and turn clockwise to loosen. And now the burr can be removed. You can see I am currently using two of these very thin washers. Just contact the company Greth if you have lost your washers. You should be able to get some more. You cannot really find these in the hardware store as these are super thin. You can first try one, put everything back together and see if that is fine enough for your espresso results. If not, put the second one in as I did, put everything back together and test it out. You should be able to grind fine enough for espresso. While it's apart, it's a good idea to take a vacuum cleaner and clean it out. Of course, before you do your vacuuming, make sure that you've removed your washers. And I'm using actually a total of four of these washers. So now it's time to put it back together. So washers go back on. You can see here there's a little knob for the bottom burr to sit on. We're gonna clean off the bottom burr as well. All right, now let's install the bottom burr. It goes on just like that, everything in reverse order. The tab goes on there, a kind of arresting washer on top of that. And then we're going to, of course, screw on our nut counter clockwise. So that's a little bit 
unintuitive. Keep that in mind. We'll tighten it counterclockwise. <clears throat> okay, great. We'll put our collar back on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take our top burr and put that back in. Just turn that until it drops into place and push top burr firmly into place is what it says right on there. So let's push it down, make sure it's in there. All right, and now we're gonna be back in business. All right, now all we have to do is put the bean hopper back on. Let's put our grounds catcher back in, dump our beans back in, put the lid on, and we are back in business. So as you can see, the grinder is a little bit clumpy. It would benefit from doing some WDT, but it does grind fine enough for espresso. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if so, please give it a like and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.